And a local business believes they have the product that will safely clean up the mess in the marshes. Now they stopped by the Newsplex to show CBS 19's Bianca Spinoza how it works. The water this man is drinking had motor oil in it two minutes ago. Well, now it's safe to drink thanks to a plant that's been around for millennia, peat. It literally encapsulates the oil and will not leach, so it will not let it back out, and then it biodegrades the oil. The McGrowdy started Synergy Environmental 10 years ago. When you're dealing with wetlands and marshes, um, and you cannot get in there with equipment without destroying it, which is why we use the product so much down in South Florida. Here's how it works. Using motor oil to represent the leak and a bowl of water as the gulf, they add the oil, then the peat. It only takes a couple minutes to collect the oil and break it down. It's easy and cheap, but no one seems to be listening to this couple from Afton. I have sent out in the last couple of weeks hundreds and hundreds of emails, faxes, everything, trying to get just somebody to hear me out. Experts say the scope of this spill is overwhelming cleanup efforts. Peat isn't going to take stuff that's on the cord grass and pull it off the cord grass. Once it gets on a surface, you're not going to clean it up very readily. The marshlands need help or shrimp that breed there will die. Experts say peat could be part of a solution, but more will need to be done. I don't see any miracle around the corner. They hope the product speaks for itself before it's too late. It's frustrating because I know this is the solution. Bianca Spinoza, CBS 19 News. Now, the couple believes their plan is not being heard in Louisa because they don't have as much money to bargain with as larger corporations that offer chemical cleanup solutions. Still, they plan to head down to Louisiana to pitch their peat plan for the marshes in person. Mm.